In my last video, I showed you how to quickly document Power BI models and build interactive data dictionaries using the new info.view DAX functions. Now, I'm a huge fan of that approach and it's a major time saver, but there's a catch. What this doesn't help with is the tedious task of writing descriptions. Now, in this video, I'll show you how we can tackle that using Power BI's brand new TMDL view with a little help from AI. All right, so unless you're some sort of psychopath, I think we can all agree that no one wants to sit down and write hundreds of lines of model documentation. The good news is that this is a perfect use case for AI, if, and only if, we can provide enough context to draft accurate and meaningful descriptions. That's where the TMDL view comes in. TMDL stands for Tabular Model Definition Language, which is essentially a way to represent the details of a semantic model in the form of code. And what's really cool about this new TMDL view is that it gives us a rich text editor where we can update our model by editing that code directly. So why does that matter? Well, for one, it's now much easier to make changes that would normally be really tedious and painful through user interface tools, like bulk editing, things like measure names or data types, using search and replace, or multi-line editing. Another huge benefit is that TMDL scripts are portable, so you can package and repurpose model components like your M code or DAX calculation groups to share with other developers or to use across multiple reports. Last but not least, when you expose the model context as code, it's much easier to integrate external tools like generative AI models to unlock some really interesting capabilities, which is exactly what we're gonna to explore today. With that, let's jump into Power BI Desktop and see if we can work some magic. So we're back in our AdventureWorks report here. And if you followed along with the last demo, you should see these tables that we created using those new info.view functions, right? We've got model columns using info.view.columns, model measures using info.view.measures. Same goes for model relationships and model tables. We even created a data dictionary table with a little bit more fancy DAX code using select columns and filter to basically combine the outputs of all of those individual info.view functions into one single table. For now, we're gonna keep it simple and really just focus on measures and specifically this model measures table here. Remember that we haven't been doing a very good job adding descriptions as we've built out this project. So these columns are currently totally blank. As a reminder, we can manually add these descriptions in the model view, which is kind of the traditional approach I'm gonna show you what that looks like for the first measure in our table here, total cost, and you'll see why I'm doing this in just a sec. So let's jump into model view, gonna scroll down to the measure table and try to find that total cost measure right here. And here in the properties pane, I'm gonna manually type that description right here. So you can actually generate some descriptions using Copilot if you have access to that tool, but for now I'm gonna manually draft the description for this total cost measure. So something like multiplies each order quantity in the sales data table by the related product cost in the product lookup table and sums the results. Note that I'm trying to be very explicit and very clear, reference the exact columns and tables that are part of this measure and describe exactly what the calculation is doing. So I'm pretty happy with that. Let's go ahead and refresh that measure table. There we go. And now if we head back to our table view, boom, there we go. We've got that description that we just wrote applied to our total cost measure here in the first row. So now what we're gonna do is head to our TMDL view here at the bottom of our report navigation pane. Keep in mind, if you don't see this, you might need to activate TMDL from your preview settings. Best way to do that is to head to file options and settings. You click the checkbox next to TMDL view in the list of preview features. So what this view will allow us to do is simply drag elements of our semantic model or specific tables or fields into our coding canvas here to view them as raw TMDL code. So check this out, let's grab our measure table, drop it right on the canvas, and there we go. It's created all this code, it's generated a create or replace statement, kind of similar syntax to what you might see in some SQL editors. This is the description that we just drafted by hand. And you'll see this for all of the measures in that measure table. And then I believe at the bottom, we'll get a little bit of detail 
about the data source and any M code from Power Query as well. Now let's scroll all the way back at the top. And the reason why I wanted to add that one manual description for total cost is that I wanted to see exactly how these descriptions are rendered within the TMDL code. I also wanted to provide our AI model with a solid example to model the other measure descriptions against. And one thing to note here real quick, if we drag other objects from our model into the canvas, you'll see we're creating multiple tabs with scripts, and these scripts are saved as part of our Power BI file. We're not gonna get into actually writing the TMDL code itself in the scope of this demo, but what we will do is copy our script from our measure table here, and then use AI to help us modify it specifically by generating our measure descriptions for us. So what I'm gonna do is Control A to select all of that code, Control C to copy it, and I'm gonna pull up ChatGPT. Note that you can use other generative AI models like Claude or Gemini as well. And you can see that I've got a pre-written prompt here. The TMDL code below contains details about the DAX measures in my Power BI semantic model. Please add clear, concise, human-readable descriptions for each measure based on the DAX calculation. Each measure should be preceded by three forward slashes and added to a line directly above the measure name. And just like I said, use the description for total cost as an example to follow. Now this last note is really important because formatting matters. So I specifically say don't modify any other code, only add those measure descriptions. The TMDL code structure, including tabs, indentation, and formatting, must remain exactly consistent with the original format below. So I'm just gonna kind of shift enter and paste all of that code right here beneath my prompt and go ahead and submit. So it's thinking, it's adding descriptions, it's kind of describing what it's doing as it's processing. And one thing to note here, I'm using 04 mini high because it specifically says it's great at coding, but I believe some of these other models might work equally well. All right, and it looks like it has given me an output. So far, so good. It's got that create or replace statement. Formatting looks like it matches the original. I see that first uh, description here. I see a similar description for the next measure, total revenue. So it's looking pretty good. So let's go ahead and copy this entire block of code. I'm gonna jump back into Power BI. And all I need to do here is delete the existing code, paste what I've copied from ChatGPT, and this is the moment of truth. If we click apply, what this is gonna do is push this updated code back to our model. Note that this will only update the model metadata, so it's not gonna actually refresh our data connections or reports themselves. We'll have to do that manually. But without further ado, let's go ahead and click apply and see if this works without any errors. All right, so we got the green check. Change is applied to the model. So far, so good. Now let's go back to our model view here. Let's refresh that measures table one more time. And now drum roll, please. Go back to table view and boom, check that out. We've got all of our description rows populated right here in our model measures table. And they all follow a very similar syntax and approach to the example that we provided for total cost. So we can start spot checking a few of these here. You know, weekend orders counts the number of orders placed on weekends. Order target sets order target as a 10% increase over the previous month orders. We can map that against some of the code, the actual DAX expressions here. That sounds pretty good as well. Now keep in mind that human review and human input is always critical when you're dealing with AI outputs. They do hallucinate, they can get things wrong. So review these measure descriptions, make sure they make sense, make sure they capture the correct business context and the nuance of your model but talk about an enormous boost in efficiency here. So there you have it, pretty incredible example of how we can use Power BI's TMDL view to capture our model context as code, then leverage the power of generative AI to help us streamline the entire documentation process. As always, make sure to like and subscribe if you wanna see more content just like this. And make sure to check out the description below for links to some of my favorite Power BI resources. I'll see you in the next one.